Discover the extreme healing benefits of hydrogen water and hydrogen therapy. Visit FringeEnergy.com for cutting-edge technology. And to see newly published videos, hit the subscribe button and notifications bell below. Hi, I'm Tavon from HydrogenWater.info where we bring the latest information on the beneficial effects of hydrogen water and hydrogen therapy. And today, I have with me our special guest, Valerie Ribotai, that has a Master of Science in Human Nutrition and a PhD in Community Health Education and Promotion. So tell us more about what does hydrogen do for the body? Well, thank you for having me today. And the very first thing that I would like to say about the hydrogen machine and hydrogen therapy is that it's able to reduce the risk of lifestyle related diseases and I think that this is a very important aspect because many of us know about what we should do about health and good living but very often we don't do it so for mm -hmm. example um, we don't exercise as much as we should mm -hmm. or we don't eat the perfect diet we have a lot of stress there's yes. a lot of toxins in the air these these are stressors that cause disease so we're going to talk a little bit more about that mm -hmm. um, each individual condition but in general I just would like to list off some of the in a broad sense some of the benefits of hydrogen therapy okay um, one of the things that it's well known for is treating autoimmune disorders such as arthritis, lupus, psoriasis. These are all caused by inflammation, but this is when the immune system goes into action on healthy cells, mm -hmm. thinking that they are a foreign substance. Cytokines and we've heard a lot about cytokines recently in the news yes, we have. due to a virus that's mm -hmm. been going around. Cytokines are proteins that are produced by cells that have a specific effect on interactions and communications between the cells. There are pro-inflammatory cytokines that stimulate the infl inflammatory response mm -hmm. and autoimmune processes. There are other cytokines that aren't detrimental, but the pro-inflammatory ones can be detrimental, and we'll talk more about that in another segment as well. Mm -hmm. Inflammation on the membranes of a cell is what blunts that cell's activity and turns on bad cell signaling processes. So that's one of the ways that disease is, is um, exacerbated in mm -hmm. the body. Mm -hmm. Inflammation also leads to energy loss in the cells, but not necessarily in your daily life. Like you wouldn't necessarily feel an immediate energy loss mm -hmm. from inflammation. It's something that happens over time where, you, where the cells are losing energy and then eventually due to lifestyle, like we talked about earlier, um, then you would feel physical loss of energy but it starts in the cells so we're going to have to talk a lot more about cellular processes so that's very interesting as you go through this list inflammation seems to keep coming up yeah wow well inflammation um is really the crux of the problem for any disease virtually any disease in fact i I don't know of any disease where inflammation isn't the foundational problem. Okay. And we'll talk more about what inflammation is. Okay. Um, but for example, after a while when the cells have been, um, have been blunted, as we said, from inflammation, for example, brain fog. Sometimes we experience brain fog and that means there's not enough energy in the brain cells. Mm -hmm. When we feel fatigued, that means there's not enough energy being produced in the muscle cells mm -hmm. and so on. So some of these systems break down slowly, but they all have the same cause and it's wow. all cellular. Okay, so how does hydrogen uh, help 
in these ailments? Well, hydrogen is the smallest element. It's, um, it's inert, meaning it's neutral, mm -hmm. you know, and because it's the smallest element, it goes everywhere in the body. So for example, we, we take antioxidants and some of us know what that is and that's, it's quenching the oxidation processes that are going on in the cells. So we take antioxidants, but many of those antioxidants don't go everywhere in the body because they're bigger molecules. Hydrogen is the super antioxidant because it literally can go everywhere and it crosses the blood-brain barrier. So if we're having energy loss in the brain mm -hmm. cells, mm -hmm. neurons, then hydrogen will go in there and it will pop off those that oxidation process that is grabbing the energy from our brain cells. Wow. It can actually go right through that blood-brain barrier. That's very fascinating. Fascinating. It also crosses the mitochondria, which is in the cell. On the illustration, you can see a cell. It has a membrane. Inside the cell, there's a fluid called the cytoplasm. In the cytoplasm, you have a nucleus and a mitochondria. And you can see that the H2 goes right in where other compounds called hydrophilic compounds can't pass the membrane wow. because the membrane is made of fat and hydrophilic means water loving. Okay. So something like vitamin C. Vitamin C is a water soluble vitamin. So vitamin C is not going to enter the cell, although it is considered an antioxidant. It's not the same as hydrogen going into the cell. Okay. Hydrogen can pass through all of these membranes because of its small size, but also because of its charge. Hydrogen benefits every organ of the body with no known side effects. One of the most phenomenal things about hydrogen and this process that we're talking about today mm -hmm. is that hydrogen targets dangerous free radicals selectively. So for example, there are free radicals in the body that are not detrimental to the body. One of those is something called nitrous oxide, which is very important for vascular functioning. Mm -hmm. You need nitrous oxide in order to be able to dilate the blood vessels, so you don't want to minimize that. Hydrogen is able to skip over that. Mm -hmm. It knows somehow, and it just targets the dangerous free radicals which cause inflammation. Yes. Studies have shown that hydrogen lowers blood sugar and bad cholesterol, restores the natural growth of brain cells, restores normal cell function in general, and it increases the antioxidant glutathione, which the body makes. And this was a very important study that was in, um, it showed improved muscular dystrophy. Mm -hmm. Glutathione is a very important antioxidant in the body. Uh, reduces lactic acid buildup during heavy exercise and decreases muscle fatigue. Metabolic syndrome reduces triglycerides, insulin, and levels of glucose and increases HDL, the good cholesterol, and gives a decrease in total cholesterol, which is the, these are the parameters that we look for when we do blood work. We want mm -hmm. total cholesterol to come down, HDL to go up, mm -hmm. you know, low density cholesterol to go down. This That's is, amazing. This is the benefit of using hydrogen. It's an anti-tumor agent. It suppresses tumor colony growth by reducing oxidative stress. Mm. It inhibits angiogenesis, which is blood vessel growth. So for example, in cancer, 
cancer when left to grow mm -hmm. um, the cells when they're left to grow yes. start to form their own little blood vessels hydrogen stops this process uh, this was specifically in human lung cancer cells wow yeah we do have many studies we just can't go into all of them in this short amount of time yes hydrogen boosts skin health you can bathe in it and it improves the appearance of wrinkles and reduced skin cell damage from UV rays or ultraviolet rays. Oxidative stress is associated with quality of life in patients with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease and cervical cancer. Antioxidant supplementation was found to be effective in improving quality of life. And as we discussed already, hydrogen is the super antioxidant. Wow, that is absolutely fascinating. Hydrogen therapy and hydrogen water has been attracting a lot of attention from around the world for its amazing health benefits. In Asia, they have hydrogen bars where people can sit down for hydrogen health treatments for the price of a cup of coffee. In China and Japan, there's a list of hospitals that offer hydrogen therapy treatment to patients. Hydrogen therapy is the future for health and wellness and is poised to be implemented by everyone, everywhere. Imagine a world where every home has a hydrogen generator machine for their family's health and well-being. Here is a list of the many ailments that hydrogen therapy can help with. The AquaCure is a hydrogen generator that produces Brown's gas, also called hydroxy or HHO. Hydroxy, as a gas, can be breathed into the body through a cannula or spot applied to areas of the skin. You can also drink hydroxy-infused water or apply it topically to the skin. Hydrogen therapy using the AquaCure has amazing, life-changing health benefits. There are over 1,000 scientific studies showing the effects of hydrogen therapy on a variety of ailments. The AquaCure is different from other hydrogen machines on the market in two distinct ways. It produces the most therapeutic form of hydrogen therapy that involves electrolyzed water where other machines do not do this. It is built to be the safest hydrogen machine in the world. The AquaCure is CE Safety Certified and is built to UL and CSA and Australian safety standards. The manufacturer of the AquaCure will ship to any country all over the world. And there is a 100% no questions asked one year money back satisfaction guarantee. <laughs>